Bowman here at BW1.com. I'm going to show you a quick Windows 7 tip here. I'm going to show you how to use the backup features on Windows 7. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to our start orb and we need to go into the search box. We'll type in backup and you want to click on backup and restore. Once you do that, the backup and restore um, menu will come up here. And the first thing we want to do is we actually want to create a backup since we don't have one right now. So the first kind of backup we're going to do is we're actually going to create um, a backup of your files. So we go to setup backup here. And the first thing it does is ask you where you want to save your backup to. You can choose any of these drives here. You can choose to burn your backup here at the top by burning it to disk. Um, you can put it on a USB disk as well. And for a Windows Ultimate and Professional, you can actually save onto a network. There's Windows Home, you can't do that. But you can actually save onto a network hard drive if you have Ultimate and Professional dishes of, Win of Windows 7. And we'll just choose a local drive for now. Click Next. And actually, what do you want to back up? This is a feature I wish they had in the Windows Vista version of the backup. This basically allows you two options. You can let Windows choose which folders and files to back up. And it also creates a system image for you automatically if, if, if the uh, system gets corrupted in any way. Or you can choose. And I like to choose exactly what I want to do. So we're going to click Let Me Choose. Go to next and it'll pre-populate a couple options here. I'll leave, I would leave those for now. And um, we can go to our computer here and get really granular on what we want to back up. And let's say I want to back up my, my local C drive here. I want to go to users, boom, and I want to back up my only my desktop, my documents, my downloads, and my music and pictures. And I don't really care about anything else. Well, I want to back up my videos and everything else I don't really care about. And it will only back up those particular things you actually check off. And you can actually include a system image of, of, of each of your drives through the backup here. And uh, what that'll do is it'll actually run that at the same time as you do the backup. You can do that independently, which I'll show you in a second. So for now, we're going to uncheck this box. But I would recommend doing this with your backup at the same time. So we'll click Next. And you can see here, it'll show you all the files that need folders it's going to back up and um, where is it going to back up to and if you hit save settings and run backup it's going to run initial backup and then it's going to run it by schedule every Sunday at 7 p.m. but before that you can actually change the schedule here and you can run it uh, weekly, daily or you can run it manually yourself if you want to so you can change all these settings here what day, what time and how often and such so that's pretty much how you set up a backup there and it will run that system image if you choose a system image option as well speaking of that let's show you how the system image works just click on a system image. You might not exactly know what that is. System image, which is a feature that I believe only in professional Ultimate editions of uh, Windows 7, similar to how it was only in um, Ultimate in, I think, uh, Business in uh, Windows, uh, Windows Vista. Basically, system image is an exact copy of your hard drives at a specific state at, the, at a specific state at the exact time that you actually run that image and it'll save it to a hard drive and let's say you have total system failure and you need to recover that and you've done everything you could do and you can't get it back on you use this system image to basically recover everything back onto your computer and go back to that pretty much that exact date so um get it back exactly as you had it before so um the next thing here we want to do is we want to choose where we want to back it up to. So we can back it up on a hard disk here. That's what we're going to choose. But you can also back it up to a DVD. You can burn it to DVD. You can also back it up to a network location. Once again, that's only in professional ultimate versions of uh, Windows 7. Back it up on a hard disk. Click Next. It'll ask you which drives you want to back up. Um, only other drive I have on available is Drive G. So we can check that box off if we want to. It'll warn you if there's not enough space. But let's say I don't want to back that up. You just uncheck it so you don't have to back it up. We'll click Next. It tells you exactly how much this backup could take, or estimates how much this backup could take, rather, and it'll let you know the following drives will be backed up. And all you can do is click on Start Backup, and it begins backing up and creating a system image. So that's pretty much the two backup features there that's pretty simple. I'm going to show you another couple of quick things and sort of how to re restore and repair your computer. They have a new thing in Windows 7 called Create a System Repair Disk. This allows you to get into your computer in the event that the computer can't boot and try to run system tools and, and stuff like uh, like uh, boot manager recovery and, and small little tools like that to try and get your system back up and running again, like start repair, uh, memory management tools, little things like that. It lets you create a disk and run those tools just in the event that your system does go down and you can't boot into Windows. The um, next thing I want to show you is actually the um, system restore feature. So if you hit recover system settings on your computer, let's say for example, you would use this in the event that uh, 
you install a piece of software or an update that conflicts with something and now your system is unstable and you can't operate the same way anymore what you would do is you would go into um, system restore you might have to do this in safe mode but yeah, just to show you how it works in here you can um, click on open system restore and ask you to restore system files and settings it'll let you know a little bit about it you click next and it'll show you different restore points basically different checkpoints in made after installing a, a specific item or a specific update and periodically at the times it'll make a little sort of checkpoint there at, as to where to kind of kind of save state a little bit in the event that something goes does go wrong you can go back from that date and restore your system so let's say I want to do it before installing this uh, Windows XP mode here and we'll click next and it'll actually all you have to do here is it'll tell you what time it does it'll tell you what the description of it is and it'll actually tell you tell you what drives is doing it to and you can scan for effective programs if you do do this restore what programs may be affected by this all I have to do is click finish and I'll run it it's not going to affect any of your actual files it's only going to affect pretty much system files all your files and documents will be safe but you always want to have that backed up just in case anyway so that's pretty much system restore there we'll click back here and this is the backup and restore files so that's pretty simple there it has a lot of robust features there it's, it's not it's not something that's advanced it's something that's normal or a Cronus but for a very for simple for 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 something very simple and for very basic users, it's a pretty good thing to to use and a pretty good thing to learn how to use and to know and definitely use it because you always should back up your files, always should have some type of system image to get back up just in case something goes wrong with your computer. So this is Bowman from BW1.com giving you a quick Windows 7 tip showing you how to back up, back up and um, restore features work. Reminding you to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com/bw1.com. Subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow us on our um, Ustream. Subscribe to our Ustream when we have those up. And follow our RSS feed. And remember to live your tech world in high definition.